Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, and in this video, we're gonna give you five ways to help improve and make a better live stream for your ministry. So let's go. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. If this is first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by. And on this channel, we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you like what we're doing here, consider becoming a patron or a YouTube member by clicking one of the links down below. So um, it's no secret <laughs> that we talk about trying to help improve your live stream, but this might be kind of a gut check moment, but I think this is really important. I've had so many people ask me, AJ, what can we do to improve our live stream? What should I buy? What should I do this? What should I, you know, and I'm just going to call it right now. Buying and getting better cameras and equipment and all this other stuff means nothing if you don't get some of these principles in place. You can have a ten, twenty, a hundred thousand dollar camera, um, better sound system, digital wall and all the bells and whistles and it could be great and look awesome. But if you don't get this stuff, it's still going to look like trash, your live stream. So it's not just about the look. It's not just about the sound. It's the purpose behind it. So these are five things that I think, and I am constantly trying to work with my, my home ministry and other ministries to understand these concepts. So let's try and go through them. Now, again, these are not everything. These are just five things that I know that I am focusing on. So I just want to share that with y'all. So let's go to number one. And I've said this so many times, but this is so important. Review your live stream. This is not meant only for your media ministry. Everyone who actually cares <laughs> about your ministry should be reviewing your live stream. That's your pastor. That's your ministerial staff. That is your music ministry. That is your media ministry. All of y'all should be reviewing it because let, let's be honest. Most people are not open to criticism and they don't want to be, quote unquote, called out. And I don't want to say called out. You don't don't. Most people don't like things being brought or them being, being the center of attention when it comes to, hey, you can do this in a better way. Um, so for me, I really recommend if everyone reviews it. You can't lie to yourself if you realize the music is horrible, the people are singing off tune, the camera is staring at an empty chair for way too long, the audio levels are too low, you're speaking too low, you're speaking too high, you're not in, I mean, review what's going on. We talked about it before. I'm not a sports person, but every sports team that I know that's serious about what they're doing, and this isn't just a hobby, they go back and review the tapes. What can we do better? Oh, we did this good. Let's improve on this. Let's focus on this. Let's replace this. Let's try something different. If you are just going to your live stream every Sunday, Saturday, whatever day you're doing it, and you don't even look back at what you're being produced, no wonder you're asking yourself, how can you make your live stream better? You need to review it. Because, I mean, what I like to say, the harshest and truth, <laughs> the most truthful way you can do it is if you watch your live stream, can you even watch it? So if you can't watch it, why would you think anybody else would want to watch it? And you're never going to know that if you don't take the time to go back and review what you're doing. Um, minister of Music praise team, choir, whoever you are, you should go back and watch and see your quote unquote performance. What are you doing? What are you looking like? How is it sounding what you're doing? So that way, when your media ministry is coming to you and making suggestions, you don't take it personally. You can see and listen for yourself what they're talking about. Because again, I'm a, I've been a minister of music, I've been in music for almost my entire life, you cannot come and tell me that this music don't sound is off pitch. And so you can't, you can't just say that unless you're just lying to yourself. If somebody's saying, Hey, you know, you, you're kind of out of pitch right here. Oh, your instrument was too loud. It was dominating over everybody else. If you go back and listen, you, you 
I don't know how you can deny, yeah, they're just making that, oh, I'm listening to the live stream and all I can hear is the organ over top of everybody else. Or I can, my pan flute that I'm playing is dominating everything. Oh, that one alto is drowning out everyone. Or when whoever stands up at the podium, I can't hear you. I mean, I can ramble on and on, but the main thing is not just the media ministry. Anybody who cares, and I'm saying this for a reason, if you care about the ministry that's going on in your live stream, it shouldn't be a hassle for you to go back and review to see how can it be better? How can your individual part that takes part in the service of the live stream that you're doing, how can you improve that yourself where collectively, if everybody's focused on being better than they were yesterday in the last live stream, everybody can move forward and make it better instead of having one group, one ministry, the media ministry, try and track down and get everybody to work on board instead of it being a collaborative effort. So please, please review your live stream. Number two kind of ties into that is get involved. Again, yeah, I'm talking about reviewing your live stream. I'm saying get involved. Don't, it's two ways to look at this. You don't want to put all the onus and all the responsibility on the media ministry. Yes, that is a part of their task, but you can help or hinder based on what you're doing. And I say get involved by saying, if you have people who are elected, appointed, volunteered, voluntold, hired, whatever, to be over top of your media ministry, respect that leadership. Now, again, I'm a preacher's kid. I've been in, I've been in church my whole life. My dad was a pastor, obviously, and I understand this. My brother-in-law is a minister. I have ministers throughout my whole family. So I know the politics that goes on. So take this in love. Just because you are the pastor and the minister does not mean that you automatically know everything involved with media ministry. It doesn't. If you have assigned people to be over the media ministry, let them lead and help contribute to help that job go smoothly. I mean, how would you like it from if you're a pastor or a minister to where your music minister is combative with you? And, hey, they don't, hey, they think that you're preaching too long, so they're going to start playing some chords to try and hurry up and shut you up. Do you see how chaotic that would be? So, again, if you have media ministry just ultimately a part and a branch of the ministry to help it improve, and if they're making suggestions, coming back in and trying to pull rank, especially when you're pulling rank when you don't know what you're talking about, just shows just is 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 chaotic. It's it's a mess. So if you have entrusted people to be the lead, if there are people watching my videos or anybody else's videos to get better in media ministry, follow along with their lead because I promise you they're probably studying this subject matter a whole lot more <laughs> than just your opinion of how it should go. And um, like I said, get involved. Don't fight the people who are in your lead. So, I mean, because I don't want to, this is one thing I always fight and people tell me not to do. A long time, I don't t I don't call myself a professional, but I've had a lot of people say, AJ, you, you really shouldn't do that. So I say it this way, your media ministry people, whatever ministry that you're at, you might not be a professional, but you are most likely the expert at your ministry. So everybody you know, a, a lot of people don't like this word, but submit to their leadership and their direction unless you have the skill set and you're going to take the responsibility of leading. <laughs> it, it, it helps work together. Be a team player. Everybody doesn't have to be in charge. Some people have to be in charge. Some people need to be able to be those um, the teammates to help get the plan accomplished. So get involved work together. We don't need to have um, hostile takeovers in the media ministry or in ministry in general, but this is about making the live stream better. So let one group, one ministry lead it 
and everybody contributes to help in that vein. Just like the media ministry should not be competing when you're running a service. If they want to do it a different way, no, they help complement the ministry. So all of y'all work, we need to all work together to complement and get involved to help the media ministry be more successful so that your live stream is more successful. Number three, I would say in all this process, we can have all the meetings and review all day long, but learn from what you found out, adjust based off of what you've learned, and then repeat the process again. Review it again, because this is not a turnkey solution. With all the tech that's involved, what comes with live streaming, Facebook, YouTube, whatever that you're streaming to, your website, your your switchers, your OBSs, your vMixes, your all, there's so many moving parts that things are constantly changing. So again, something that you're using last week, hey, we used to be able to press these buttons and we were able to live stream, but Facebook changed their interface and now we have to learn and adjust to the new way that they've done it. You know, again, there there is no, yep, we, we spent the money, we got the equipment, whew, we don't have to do anything anymore. That's not true. That is not true. You have to realize that it is learn, adjust, review, repeat. That's the whole process. That's how you get your live stream to be better. Number four, we go back to what we were saying at the beginning. I don't believe that you need to spend money for the sake of spending money. But when it's time for you to upgrade, upgrade and upgrade when it's appropriate. You know, it's not just because you see the new hotness out there doesn't mean that you have to get it. But if your media ministry or you're hearing people saying, hey, the mics sound horrible. You know, again, I understand everybody has a different budget and all this other stuff like that. But when you know you need to fix something and upgrade something, do it. You know, why are you dragging it out when ultimately, you know, you, know you, you want the message to be clearly communicated? So if your live stream after you've been reviewing it looks like a slideshow because your Internet speed is not fast enough. Get a faster Internet upload speed. Hey, if it if people in your ministry are being blessed by it, but they're, they're saying Hey, you know, is there any way we can improve the picture quality? Look at maybe upgrading your camera. You know, uh, again, one of those things I understand that sometimes the, uh, a ministry's mindset is like they're very mindful of the money and they want to be good stewards over their money. But at the same time, I believe being a good steward is also investing when it's appropriate. You know, if you can do better, do better. That's all it is. If you can get a better image quality, you can. I'm not talking about upgrading to the point where you can't pay the mortgage for the building, the electrical. No, nah, not, not, come on, come on. The idea is if you can do, if you can do better, do better. If you know it's good to say, okay, we have one camera, that's great. It's nothing to matter with that. But when you're starting to see, you know what, I think we can introduce something else. The finances are there. Hmm. Yeah, let's go for it. And I guess ultimately what I'm trying to say is back to what we were saying originally. This is not a turnkey solution. Just because you have one camera in place and it's like, hey, we got a wide shot. Yep, we're done. We got it all done. It's not like that. You can always improve. That's all I'm saying. Be open for improvement, and when the opening is there, move. Don't wait 20 years <laughs> to do an upgrade when you know you need to. You know, it's it's about being willing to assess the environment when you see, you know what, we've reached the limit of what we can do. And or saying, hey, like, for example, we use at my home church, we used to have five cameras because we used to have a bunch of people, and they were all manned. But because of COVID, We've had to scale that down, so we moved the PTZ cameras so that we can still have the function as if we had multiple cameras, but one person can operate it because we assessed that we don't have as many people as we used to, but we want to keep the standard at the level that we have. So 
we appropriately move to that instead of fighting it. So that's all I'm saying. Be mindful of it that if you can make the situation better, move forward. Don't just stubbornly be like, we're fine. We don't need to do anything. And we just stay still when people are trying to tell you who used the stuff in the media booth or whatever area that, hey, I, we need to upgrade. We need to fix this. We need to replace this. There's a reason why they're saying it. <laughs> All right. And number five is please learn the appropriate lingo. It is not cute anymore to call um, live streaming and all this other stuff the wrong thing. Now, again, I know this might come off AJ, you're being a jerk. Look, there's a big difference between live streaming and Zoom. Zoom is not live streaming. Live streaming is not Zoom. Zoom can live stream <laughs> from it, but it's not the same thing. Understand the difference between YouTube and Facebook. Facebook and the website. Website, live stream. Live stream in the radio. Radio and smoke signals. There is a difference. <laughs> and I, I'm, I'm trying to joke about this, but... When you don't know the appropriate lingo, what that comes off is that you don't care. And this whole video is how can you improve and better your live stream? Most of y'all were thinking we're talking about you um, get some Dante and send your audio this way. You not yeah, that could work. But I'm talking about the stuff that anybody can do. If you want your stuff to be better, you need to actually show that you care enough to call it the right thing. If you are in a relationship and you keep calling that person the wrong name, what does that convey? That you don't care. Learn the right name. Learn the right lingo um, when you're speaking of the services that you're using, your live stream, anything you're interacting. And then also, don't treat whoever's watching online like second-rate citizens. Address them. Speak to them. Hey, good morning, everybody. And for those who are joining us on live stream or through our live stream, thank you for joining us. That's small. But be mindful to actually say that and don't demonize the folks who are watching, because the people who are watching are just not your uh, church members who are not coming today. You're reaching people all over the world. So how would you like it if I'm from Sri Lanka and I'm watching your live stream for the very first time because I want to hear a message and that just came across my feed and I come in and then I'm hearing you saying, well, you really shouldn't be watching online. You should be coming inside the church. You just turn somebody off. So be mindful of the right lingo and how you say stuff because you do not realize that you're affecting way more people than you're ever going to meet. So I don't know. I don't want to come off like I'm beating everybody over the top of the head, but these are just some things that I've noticed and I know I'm constantly working on as well with the ministries that I work with to improve because these are things that no matter what gear you get, no matter what cameras, no matter what audio system, no matter what upload and download speed you got, these are things that need to be improved on because this is going to help you get your live stream better no matter what equipment that you have because it's mainly people. People are the ones that drive all the equipment. And if you ain't got the people involved that care about making it better and showing that they care, you can have the best stuff ever and it's, you're still going to have a horrible live stream. So hopefully those five things help you folks. If there's anything else that you feel is important that helps improve and make your live stream better, please leave it down in the comments. This is a community where we're all contributing and helping working together to all of us to improve um, each other. So your tip can help my ministry. And I hope these tips help your ministry and anybody else's comments down below. So leave them there. I read all the comments, try to respond to all of them, but um, I would appreciate if you do that. So if you like this type of content, I appreciate a like, consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. And I want to thank the patrons and the YouTube members for making this video possible. I can't do this without them. And this is my form of appreciating them. So thank you so much, patrons. Their name's on the screen right now. And you too can become a patron for as little as $1 a month. Or you can become a YouTube member by clicking the join button down below. No matter which way you pick, folks. You are helping us train and empower media ministries all over the world. 
Thanks for watching, folks. This is AJ, and we will see you on the next video. Later.